Well, good morning and welcome to another beautiful, well, I guess it's not that beautiful day in subsistence. Actually, it is a little later in the morning. We ran a little late in the last episode and I had a, a few things that I, oh, you'll, there's a hint, water canteens. Uh, there's a few things that I wanted to take care of uh, and prep for the next, uh, for this episode, for today. And yeah, we're going to get into it. Um, it's actually kind of interesting. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a uh, cougar hunt. But, wait a minute. Oh, good. I, I didn't forget the uh, livers that I was cooking. Oh, boy. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm, we're going to do a cougar hunt. But we're going to do, it's a special cougar hunt, special uh, sort of a situation. Uh, I also have a wood stove. Yes, we're going to do an overnight trip. We're going we're gonna to go camping. We're going to go camping. Ah, I'm so excited about this. But, um, well, I mean, you know, ex as excited as you can be about camping in it, you know. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's all right. It's not that exciting, okay? Well, it is somewhat exciting. So, so far I have, um, I'm just putting together some provisions. I've got some view you and you. Um, I'm going to need, I'm going to make some more sp uh, uh, fire starter kits, uh, which if I remember correctly, I need uh, you and you. And then I need to make a bunch of sticks. And then I need to make uh, get grab a bunch of uh, biofuel. Ah, let's just grab all of it. Do I have any more biofuel in here? Yes, I do. That is actually um, quite good to see because I, I do need to crank power up so that we don't run out of power overnight. Because yeah, um, I'm not going to be here, and so you know things like this wood burner is going to go out while we're not here. Um, but you know we don't want to go out too far. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, I already put it away. Oh, whoa. Ooh, that was kind of weird. Um, let's make uh, a bunch of fire starters. There we go. That's probably, what is that? Five? That's probably more than enough. So just, you know, just so that we have them on hand. Okay, let's put uh, you away. So that's the excitement for today. Um, should I? I can gather wood, so I think we'll do that later. How are you guys doing? Oh, you're all done. Good. So let's start cooking up water. Now, there's a few things that um, that the, uh, the 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 cabin, uh, our little uh, overnight spot, is not going to have. Um, for example, it's not going to have the ability to store freshly cooked food. So I've got. Well, actually, you know what? I've got a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna. How about if we take a whole lot of protein bars, right? We'll leave a few here. Uh, but so protein bars, I'm going to take some vegetables. In fact, we could probably take a, uh, a few more tomatoes, 12 tomatoes. That, that looks like a, a, a nice amount. Um, I'm going to get some canteens filled with water. Let's see. We're going to have you and you and you. Let's put you away. And then, of course, we're going to have the fire starter. And so basically, I'm trying to think of everything else that I'm going to need for this little trip. Um, if we're going to go cougar hunting, we are going to need some uh, weapons. I think, yeah, I've got 20 SVT rounds right now, which is pretty good. You're still cooking. Okay, let's grab you. I'm going to make more SVT rounds. Why? Because. Uh, just so that we have a whole bunch. Ooh, that's actually a lot more than I was expecting. Um, yeah, that'll be fine for now. And then how, how are my 9 mil? We've got 19. Let's do a few more 9 mils. Those are a little bit more economical. We'll put that away. All right. Yeah. So what's the point? Why are we doing this? Um, m as many noticed, I no longer have boots. I no longer have a helmet. I am I'm, I'm living dangerously. I, I only have five uh, sinew right now. Now, if I wanted to make myself a helmet, let's see. I need uh, three sinew, two plates, and four padded cloth. Uh, wow, I need another plate. Ooh, what do I need to make a plate? I can't remember what the I can't remember what that's all about. Uh, iron, zinc, and scrap. Let's just grab iron, zinc. Ooh, we don't have a lot of iron left either. And what? Oh, I have a I have all the scrap on me. <laughs> yeah, I was busy. I was making uh, canteens, and it takes scrap as well. Uh, yeah, so let's make uh, one more of you, right? And then once we have that, um, we'll take another look. I believe it's, uh, we want to, yeah, we'll have two plates, four padded cloth. I think I've got the four padded cloth, so that's kind of good. 
But I do want to get a helmet going because, um, you know, uh, two deaths in yes. Now, I mean, obviously the uh, the the grenade arrow death was a fluke, right? I mean, who knew, right? That you, as soon as I looked out the window, I'd get hit in the face with a grenade arrow. Yeah, it it happens. These things happen. It's all good. I, I actually had fun. That was a great episode. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> uh, we're going to make you. All right. And we'll put you back. And let's put away some of our other bits and pieces. So, yeah. See, we're down to two sinew. And I need sinew for a whole lot of stuff. So, yeah. I'm a little worried about that. Now, what's the power situation? We're cl climbing up there. Um, why I worry about it. Are we burning anything? No. See, it's 0.4. I need to make this more efficient. This is point two alone. Um, hmm. I mean, what all is taking power besides... I've got a couple of lights. We could probably go and turn one of these lights off just, just to be super, super efficient. This one's always on. And then, if I remember correctly, the tower... I've, I left one on up in the tower, too. So we could probably go kill that one as well. Yeah, see, that's on. Oh, by the way, I did do a little bit of uh, fiddling about. I have a, a potential workaround for this. Um, I believe I'm stuck. How about let's move you. Uh, actually, can I crouch? Oh, I can't do anything. Yeah, let's just move you right. I had you there a second ago. Uh, yeah, that's not a good place either. <laughs> Here, can I put you out? This is actually a lot trickier than I thought it would be. Ah, uh, that's good. I can live with that. Oh, am I... Oh, I'm stuck on this. Oh, well, we'll have to move you too. Um... Hmm. Where do we want to stick you? about right there yeah now I'm not gonna be able oh I can okay basically all this just to turn that off all right and then what we can do is we can uh, take you put you back because this this really should go back in its rightful spot which is like right here but I did I did figure out uh, sort of a method of getting this all to work uh, and I'll, I'll go into it in a, in a future episode. But essentially, the, the short story is um, that having these stairs always in this corner is, is not really the way to go. You can basically have one sort of on kind of that side, and then you can also have one on kind of that side on the next one, and then back and forth, back and forth. It works. It's, um, there's a couple of sort of, it's, it's a little fiddly and gimpy, but it's, it does work. Uh, but that's the, uh, yeah, that's, that's the, uh, that was what I concluded. All right, now what, how are we doing for power? Uh, right now we've got, let's turn the new off for a minute. Um, 0.26 going in and 0.2 going out. So that's basically the power generation. It's over 500. Yeah, so I think we're fine because 0.2 is, 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 uh, less than 0.3 and if it goes below 500 you get 0.3 alright I think we're good we can leave it at, at uh, this point right here 700 as long as I don't run anything extra like lights and stuff like that we'll be fine alright now we got ourselves a helmet so let's put our helmet on eh? in fact we, let's go out and uh, take, a, take a look at our our new helmet itself eh? yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, ah, do, 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 do. Anyways, so there we go. That's kind of cool. Um, I do need, like, um, like a better shirt or, you know, like, for example, if I wanted to make the combat vest, like, I need three rope for that bad boy. Holy camoleons. I don't have three. I've barely got, like, enough. I, actually, I don't even have enough to make one rope. I think rope, does it take three? Yeah, it takes uh, three sinew. So I couldn't even make rope if I wanted to. That's how bad off it is. So I'm going to take some fuel bricks. Um, I could probably could uh, make a couple more. Uh, one, two. Yep, that'll do. One, two, that'll do. 
Uh, so we'll take some fuel bricks. I'm going to put that scrap back because, yeah, I don't need that much scrap on me. And let's grab the... Uh, thing. We're going to let this go out. The only reason why it's, I'm even burning it right now is just so that I keep, uh, keep ash coming. Because um, ash is... Yeah. Ash is important for the plants. Uh, all right. Now, in fact, what we can do is let's use the last of, last of our ash. I did service this, yes, yeah, see, last night, but it needs a bit more. Okay. Let's, uh, we are going to, we are going to leave. I just, I want to make sure that, you know, it's always like this when you plan a camping trip, right? You've got, there's always so many things to do. I wish I had a checklist. That would be useful. All right. So you're good. Now. I've got a bunch of water, I've got some vegetables, I've got some protein. In fact, what I'm going to do just for today, I'm going to have you and I'm going to take a couple of steaks uh, just, you know, because. Uh, I could even cook meat while I'm up there because, you know, we're going to be going after um, uh, animals that have meat. That's, uh, you know, th their nature. Uh, and here, let's do... Let's do that and just so I'm full up so I don't use up my uh, my travel water Ooh, those stairs are damaged I, I'm gonna have to fix that there we go now food and all that we're, we're in good shape I've got backup water I've got ammunition uh, protein vegetables fire bricks uh, uh, wood stove this thingamabobber um, we're not gonna have light so it's gonna be dark but that's okay because uh, there's no BCU. I've got... Uh, do I have any more 9 mils? Or am I... No, I've used up... Actually, I'm going to take some more shotgun. Let's take... Tw let's have 20 with us. There we go. All right. Now, the base is probably going to get attacked while we're gone. I mean, that's just... It's just what... Is he standing on his... On his... Th is it? Was he staring at me? I think he was looking at me. Do you think he's coming? Okay, you know what? I don't care. We got to go. We have uh, we have important... Uh oh, I thought I heard somebody. We have important cougar hunting business to take care of. And I need to get, uh, get my butt up onto the mountain before it gets too dark. I'd like to at least be able to have the possibility of, of getting a cougar uh, this evening. I don't know if we're going to because this... I don't even know... Well, I guess it's midday. We, sh we should be able to do it. Uh, oh, I have a lockpick. Good. Yeah, just in case we run into a lock crate. That would be kind of nice, too. Um, oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there is one thing that I forgot. I even told myself uh, in, my, uh, in my video from uh, last episode, uh, I need to buy a, a bed spawns. So, yeah, I forgot. <sighs> Isn't that just always the way? All right. At least the weather's sort of starting to clear up. Okay, let's do this. Uh, well, the other thing is, if that, I'm going to buy bed spawns. I'm going to crank this back on again so that it uh, brings the power back up after we, uh, after we do uh, that. All right, we've got a couple of them, so I think that's fine. We'll be we'll be okay. Uh, anybody coming? No. Okay. All right. Now we're leaving. It's, it's always the way, right? And I see fiber and everything, but I'm no. I've dilly dallied enough. Uh, we need to we need to get our butt going. Oh, ah, we got tons of arrows too, so we're in good shape. Oh. Yeah, I guess, you know, I really do need to, like, make a checklist or something. Uh, just so that I, I keep track of all the... Because, you know, it's a, it takes, like, half a day or a quarter of a day at least to get out there, right? It's a pretty significant investment in time. Was that a bear? Yes, that was a bear. Oh, you know what, bear? That's fine. You you go ahead and chase me. I don't care. We're, we're just trucking along. Yeah, I know. Rah! Bear thinks that he's some... Oh, and a wolf. Nice. Oh, and another bear right over there. Uh, let's go this way. All right. I think the bear dropped off, and the wolf is still there. Yeah. 
That wolf is, uh... Yeah, he's still there. It, okay. I think he's given up. Yeah, he's given up. Do, 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 do. Now, there may be a faster way to get uh, uh, up there. Um, and I'll have to... We'll investigate that in another another time. But for now, I'm just taking this route because it is somewhat uh, simple. And I know that I can get there in a reasonable amount of time. Is it going to start to rain again? I certainly hope not. Now, uh, the wood stove is necessary to be able to overnight up there because it is cold. How cold is it, you ask? It's very cold. <laughs> it's, it's, you won't survive. When I went back, one of the reasons why I forgot to, that one time I went up there and I forgot to harvest the cougar, the reason why I forgot to harvest the bloody cougar is because I was so concerned about my health uh, tanking from exposure that I was just like just trying to rush and get out get up back down as fast as I possibly could and yeah so and of course I paid the price for that by uh, not harvesting a cougar when I should have but you know uh, such is life we all make mistakes right okay there's Mr. Bear over there on the left we're gonna avoid him uh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my stamina yeah I think we've got enough time. I think we're doing good for time. Do, 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 do. Going on a camping trip. Gonna go catch... Oh. Yeah, you know what? I don't care. I got things to do, buddy. You guys go ahead and fill your boots and just destroy my base. Whatever. You know, I, I considered um, setting the, the hunters to, um, like, revenge only. Uh, because right now I've got it set to normal. I'm just going to let some stamina build. Actually, you know what? Uh, oh, where's my axe? Oh, yeah, I was doing building, which means that my axe and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, I've got a hammer with me. Oh, well, that's actually good. That's actually good, because uh, that way I can repair the base. Um, I didn't mean to do that. That's not purposeful. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it is actually quite... Uh, um, uh, lucky. Uh, I'm lucky that I, I brought that hammer with me. Because I need to build one anyway. So I might actually leave this hammer uh, back at this base. Yeah, I might actually do that. Now, okay, here's... We're getting a bit closer to the thing. So we... Oh, there's my base. So we have to be careful because sometimes the, the cougars do come up uh, into the snow here just a little bit. Sometimes. Is that a wolf? I think that's a wolf. All right. So here we are in our little home away from... Oh, I already have a wood stove. That's okay. We'll have a uh, a, sec a backup one. Now, the reason why... Um oh, that's right. I have one. Okay. And I'm glad I got this uh, thing. Now, did I... I have some nails, so that's kind of good. So we can, uh, we can do a bit of repairs. Uh... It's okay to have that second wood stove. I was going to need one anyways, um, because I need one for the uh, the other base. It uh, Without that other... So we're going to leave this, by the way. We're going to leave this here. We're going to leave that here. Put some more tomatoes in here. Uh, we're going to keep... Uh, we'll put that there. And uh, we've got some of you. In fact, what we can do is we can... Uh, oh, we've got that. Okay. Ignite. And then we'll put these guys in here. Oh, I should have checked that. Oh, carrots. Ah, we'll keep carrots on us. What the hay? Um, and we'll just put, yeah, let's put some materials away. And uh, we'll put the water in here as well, just so that we have our backup water. Um, mine, a mining drill would be nice because then we would be able to get bottled water. And that would be kind of cool. All right, now, where is the cougar? It's going to be around here somewhere. It's Oh, there's a crate right there. If I went after the crate, I bet you the cougar would try and come and get me. Uh, you're repaired. Okay, so... And I do need to upgrade that this to... Uh, and I also need to put some walls around the front of this to prevent the cougar from going underneath. Um, can I actually... No, I'll, th I'll do that another time. For now...
I don't hear the cougar. And we are running out of time. Hmm. Yeah, I see that scrap, but uh, we've got more important things to deal with right now. Like figuring out where the cougar... Uh-oh. Why do I hear... Padding feet? Maybe they're my feet. <laughs> I see chickens. Oh, don't tell me that there's no cougars. I left it too late to find a cougar. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, let's get this uh, ammo crate. Oh, nice, nice. And let's come on down here. There it is. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, darn. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't tell me the cougar didn't follow me. All right. That, that would be kind of disappointing, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh, you jerk. Okay, let's go back down and get him. Where's the cougar? There it is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess he gets a little more angry if you actually shoot him. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I think he stopped. Okay, come on out, cougar. Do, do, do. Um, actually. There we go. And this time, we're going to actually harvest this bad boy. <laughs> oh, there we are. So that was a level... I th Man, I'm here. I tell you, I'm hearing things. Uh, that's a level 2 cougar, so if we're super lucky, then we'll get some uh, half-decent stuff out of it. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look. And... Oh, not bad. Five sinew. All right. So now here's the reason why we're overnighting. Uh, first of all, um, because who doesn't love a camping trip, right? Am I right? Uh, I love camping trips. So, you know, I, th I think it's... A Actually, let's keep that on us for a minute. Yeah, let's do that. And then um, um, I'm going to gather some... Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, gathering. Just just get it out of the way. Uh, there's like, you know, like fiber and stuff like that. Just while we still have some daylight. We, so we don't waste the daylight hours. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to leave my... Uh, is that a wolf or a cougar? No, that's... Oh, for crying out loud, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's a <laughs> it's a cougar shaped um, <laughs> scrap. <laughs> um, right. So why are we spending the night? I tell you why. Because I want to take advantage of the cougar spawn. I assume, and I might might be wrong, but I want to find out if the cougar will respawn uh, overnight. If uh, if by tomorrow, tomorrow morning, uh, during the night or whatever, this the cougar spawns back in again. Um, I want to find out because then what it that allows me to do is it it allows me to double uh, or you know double the impact of a hunting trip you know I, I can come just in the afternoon I come here and then in the late afternoon in the evening I kill a cougar 
I spend the night, I, in the morning I kill another cougar and then I head on back to the base during the, you know, before, uh, uh, before noon. And then I can still get back to the base and take care of things and all that sort of stuff. Oh, is that a, that looks like fiber. Let's get that fiber. Oh, there's my base way down there. I, I, and I also, I wanted, the other reason why I wanted overnight is I wanted to see what it was like up here at night. Because <laughs> I think it's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the other reason. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Okay. So here we are. We're in our little uh, little hunting cabin. It's kind of cool. And I don't really see anything too exciting out there. That's too bad. I was hoping that I could, you know, maybe I could see, like, uh, little campfires dotted in the valley, right? But, uh, oh, oh, oh. I think I was able to see a... a here, let me see if I can do this. A flash. I saw a flash of a building light. Uh, basically, it was uh, to the left. See, there's my base right there. And I think I saw the... F oh, there's something. You see more when you do it off uh, center. See, right here, okay, where my gun is pointed right now. Uh, and I turn, and you can see... There it is. See, it pops up. You can see it just faintly uh, on the left-hand side there. And if I turn more, you can see it. I think there's something right there. So if I turn like that, you can see there's a, uh, it's kind of a faintness and it's like right here. So I do think that I am seeing um, the bases and the hunters and all kinds of stuff like that. I was hoping to see more campfires and stuff. So, and the other thing I was hoping to do was uh, maybe, uh, I wasn't sure how the, I was I was I was curious if the cougar would spawn in like right in front of me right right here in the snow. I I, I didn't I didn't think it would happen, but I thought, whoa! I think I saw some sort of uh, some sort of light right straight down there. Maybe that's a campfire from uh, rogues or something. But there's no hunters down. That's down towards the the uh, the first waterfall, um, and then the new waterfalls are all basically over that way. But down here, or was that just a flash? some sort of a random thing that doesn't really have any, you know. Hmm. I don't know. All right, well, we're just going to sit here uh, next to the campfire, do a little bit of camping. I wish I had some marshmallows. That would be kind of cool. I've got a little bit of supply of wood, apparently, in the front of... You know what? I'm going to put away that uh, SV... Actually, yeah, let's reload it. And we should reload the shotgun, too. There we go. And apparently the 9L. <laughs> uh, I, I think I should be more diligent. All right, there we go. Anyways, yeah, there's a bit of wood there. And how's our fire doing? It's Oh, it's look at that. It's got tons in there. And I'm burning more ash. I can't believe... I, I guess I, I was thinking... I, I must have been thinking that this would be perfect. And I made it for the last... Ah, man, that's just... That's silliness. That's what that, that is. Oh, well. All right, how am I doing? I could ha let's eat the meat before it goes bad, and then we're also going to cook the uh, steak and this, and let's let's uh, do up the uh, fat as well. Might as well, and then um, let's see. We could put uh, you in here for later, another time. We've got fuel bricks for fuel for the wood stove, and uh, we've got a bit of extra wood, right, in case we need it for emergency wood supply stuff. Uh, some fiber. Now, the gunpowder and the uh, these guys, I'm going to take with me because they have no purpose out here. And same with the biofuel. Actually, no. The biofuel, that, that could, if I need to make an emergency fire starter, that's, that'll come in super handy. So I'm going to leave that out here. So wood, uh, wood, uh, biofuel, and, uh, and fiber is what you need to make the, uh, well, the sticks actually from the wood, but is what you need to make a fire starter. So you're still cooking? All right, but I could have maybe a bit of water, you know, sit by the campfire, have a little drink, maybe have uh, some, yeah, the vegetables are what I'm going to run out of first. I can handle, like, source uh, uh, meat and such, um, but from killing animals and stuff like that, but, um, oh, there we go. Got you, and how is my, I'm protein's good, so I'll have to have that tomorrow. Now it is um, really cold. I, this meat should not spoil up here because it's quite chilly, and uh, you know it's like a refrigerator. Now, of course, in my my cabin it isn't, but conceivably out in the snow, 
you wouldn't uh, the, it wouldn't go bad as quickly. Huh? Be like the fridge. Yeah, I don't I'm not seeing a cougar. Yeah. All right. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. So it was a, a little bit shorter, but you get the point. This is uh, basically the, the, we're, we're, we're going camping. Uh, part one. That's the end of part one of going camping. Uh, tomorrow, what we're going to do is... Uh, oh, yeah, we're getting some daylight. It's almost tomorrow already. Um, but we're going to uh, basically try to hit up another cougar. And then uh, then we're going to book it back to the base. So this would be like... A, it's a double cougar run. Now, there are other ways of doing that. But because the cougar hunting grounds, which are even... Fur there's more of them that way, away from my base. They're even further from my base. So... Yeah, it makes it pretty tough for me to go out on a, a trip and, and hunt for cougars because it, uh, it, I have to go so far to, to be able to get them. But uh, all right, uh, it's the dawn of a new day. I think we're going to stop now. So thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Get back close to the fire, buddy. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>